Hello, I'm here today with Mike Rohde, who is one of my big heroes who brought me on to the path of sketchnoting qu quite some years ago. Nice that you're here. Thank you. It's so good to be here, Ingrid. Thanks for having me. And we will draw while we talk. <laughs> so it's always a little bit scary if I'm drawing for somebody mm -hmm. who's this better at drawing than me. But I mean, I love your style. This is great. That must be good enough. That's there something that I learned with this whole sketch noting movement. It's, it's not about art. It just has to be good enough. It's about ideas. Landon came along with, and he was just in the corner of the room. And so I taught this workshop to this small group of adults. And it turned out that Landon was very fascinated in drawing too. And at the end, he came up and said, Daddy, Daddy, look, I did all the drawings. And he had done everything that I drew in my presentation for that hour workshop. And it sort of proved to me that if a seven-year-old can do it, then anybody can do it. And I've been wondering lately, is there anything I can do in between the two-hour intensive stuff and the one-on-one -on -one coaching? Is there another space there that I'm not thinking about? I mean, it depends on what you want. Uh, yeah. What your goal is with the whole sketch noting. You know, you think about the work that you're doing right now or the work that I've done drawing out our thinking with a small group of people has real value because often if you just talk about it verbally or you write it and you don't see it, you can often believe that you agree on things when actually there's nuanced differences between what you believe, which is called illusion of agreement. So you think you agree, <laughs> but when you draw it, you can see like, oh, wow, I'm not thinking that at all, Mike. Here's what I'm thinking, right? And it opens this discussion about what are we really thinking? Can we talk a little bit about what do they get out of it? So I say the number one value is that they think more deeply and in a different way than before. A third benefit besides being confident is community. So you become part of a community now of other like-minded people who can help you even get better and who can share and give you ideas. So my big question is, is there a space between the two hour Zoom workshop that I have been doing and the live in person, super intensive one-on-one -on -one with 10 to 15 people? So I think the missing part really is the online live class where it's a little bit more intensive, which probably would mean instead of a hundred people, maybe it's more like 20, right? So mm -hmm. it's manageable to do that, to really give the one-on-one -on -one attention that 20 people would want, mm -hmm. where I could be active in a private Slack channel. I could be answering questions, like all that kind of stuff. You've helped me, you know, now I can go on my book and I can check off thinking about my next workshop because I just did it with Ingrid. <laughs> yeah. There it is, I mean, checked off. I this is really fun. Thanks for inviting me to be part of the process. I've enjoyed it. I did too. <laughs>